What's up ladies and gents, my name is Parvin and I welcome you back to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. We have an awesome episode filled with epic plays for you guys, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. At our number 5 spot, we have an interesting play made by Helior2010 on Lee Sin. The game is very close and they're only down by a couple of kills when they place a ward of Baron and they see Leona running up to kill it. All of a sudden, we slow it down as TF Gold Cards Leona stunning her as Lee Sin W's to the ward and lines up an ultimate, kicking her out of the Baron pit swiftly and isolating her from her team. They instantly jump on her as her team wraps around the side and they try to aid her, but thanks to another gold card, they manage to finish off Leona before her team can do anything about it and this leads to a 4v5 which turns into a free Baron. I decided to showcase this clip because this shows what teamwork and recognizing an opportunity to strike at the right time can do to a game. The war goes down, they see the potential, and they execute beautifully to make this a game-winning play. Coming in at 4th place is Ryan W on Lulu, and at the start we see the enemy Caitlyn poking Olaf on the tower, but she brings him low and goes for the kill, but Lulu ults him, saving his life and forcing Caitlyn to flashback. All of a sudden she goes for the kill, but Ryan W flashes to block the bullet, saving his life a second time while chasing and picking up the kill on Caitlyn. AD Lulu too strong. And for our number 3 play, we have Stranger Awesome on Draven in a high elo game. At the beginning we see the enemy Orianna trying to flank him, so he turns the ear for the slowdown that swaps his focus to the Ezreal to scare him away. Knowing Orianna is coming from behind, he pushes up bringing Ezreal lower and lower when suddenly Sona exhausts him, but he continues to auto attack and move away from all 3 players while still catching both of his axes. He hits Orianna hard, scaring her away, but he realizes he can keep chasing and deals massive damage to her while still catching his axes, and then he sidesteps the Ezreal ult and then uses stand aside to pick up the great kill under the tower. He knows both Ezreal and Sona are low, so he waits for his ultimate to come up while he continues to push the tower, and then he grabbing the insane double kill while they recall for the 3 for 0 exchange. At our second place spot, we have Weezagret on Victor, and at the start we see him chasing the Caitlyn as he puts down his gravity field, knowing Nocturne is coming around the back in order to stall him. With the great ultimate and laser, he finishes off Caitlyn and then turns to deal with Nocturne. He cues for the shield and then backs off, letting Absolute Zero bring him really low, and then he finishes off Nocturne with a death ray that also deals huge damage to Nidalee. He chases Nib with Nunu, and then we see the enemy Gragas coming, so he backs off, not wanting to face check, and with the ward in place, he cues for the shield and then puts out a great W, stunning Gragas and separating the two long enough for Nunu to escape with low health. After using power transfer again for the shield, he turns around and mans up, slowing Nidalee with red buff and then bursting her heart with death ray and Q, letting the burn damage from the upgraded hex core grab the kill. He then jukes out body slam and shields again with power transfer while stunning Gragas and then death rays a final time for a beautifully played 4 for 0 exchange. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Jin Cherokee playing Lee Sin on purple team, but this is a great team play altogether. At the start, we see three players on blue team push to win the game and all that stuff to defend this TF. Lee Sin jumps onto him, but he flashes back and makes it to the shop where he heals up as they continue to push. They take down the first tower quickly and the most of the second one before Twisted Fate comes back and gold cards Volibear into a Q for the kill, but he goes down. By now, things are looking really grim as Lee Sin and Zyra with Guardian Angel freely damage the Nexus, but then suddenly we see Tark spawn and he instantly Shirelli is running up and using Dazzle and Zyra and exhausting Lee Sin to reduce their damage. Jin Cherokee flashes an ulti enemy Lee Sin away from the Nexus as they turn their attention to Zyra who flashes away, but they get her Guardian Angel to pop. Vayne condemns Lee Sin away and Tark dazzles so he can't jump to a minion as they kill Lee Sin and then right after Zyra defending the Nexus with a sliver of health left. Thanks to this insane team play in which each player did their part to hold off the enemy team's push, they take the win shortly after in a truly epic comeback. And for the bonus couple of the week, we have Schrader Everdeen on Diana. I'll give you guys some background information on this play so you can understand exactly what's going on. This is a ranked 5's pre-made game, and basically what happened is blue team's jungler Diana disconnected in the loading screen, and now 35 minutes into the game, she's come back. Until now, blue team has been 4 v and winning the game, so the enemy team decides to go for a Desperation Baron attempt even though they have the numbers advantage and, well, level 1 Diana crushes their hopes and dreams. I'll let the rest of the team fight play out as she levels to 5 by the end of it and they surrender instantly. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed and as always have a great week.